All right, you asked us and now we will answer. The best camera on these three mid-range smartphones, the Huawei Nova 3i, the Oppo F9 and the Vivo V11. All these phones are priced more or less similarly and today we will declare the winner by comparing their images side by side. So let's dive right in. Let's start off with the area where all the major smartphones find it a little too hard to shine. Of course, I'm talking about the night time. I did take a lot of pictures from those phones and here's what I found. Talking about the saturation, the Huawei Nova 3i was a little dull while the Vivo V11 was a little too oversaturated for my taste. The Oppo F9 hit the right spot here. In terms of noise control, the phone that comes out on top is again the Oppo F9. I mean, just take a look at it. It stands out from the rest with that crisp shot, doesn't it? The V11 comes a little bit behind and I didn't quite like Huawei's take on this aspect at all. The Oppo F9 also shines in terms of preserving the details at the night time. It also does the best job here in balancing the white balance. The V11 and the 3i on the other hand take warm images with the 3i capturing in more details than the V11. So like the last gen Oppo F7, the F9 has also done a better job here than its competition. And this is probably due to its wider aperture lens. Now talking about the daylight condition, the first thing I noticed while taking the images samples was definitely the color tone of the photos. Both the Nova 3i and the Vivo V11 had a shade of pinkish tint on the pictures with Huawei samples looking a lot pinkier. Oppo balances the color tone here like it did with the nighttime images and that's good to see. Now, there were instances where I was in dilemma between selecting the winner in some of the aspects as when I compare the details, sometimes the F9 came on top while in another image, the Vivo V11 did a better job. The case was same in terms of saturation as the Vivo V11 tended to oversaturate the images at the time when Oppo did the best. While there were images such as this where I couldn't pick the clear winner between the V11 and the F9. The Huawei Nova 3i was still down on both the aspects, so you have that. However, the Vivo V11 let me down in terms of contrast and exposure, as it overexposed the images and the contrast level was not good at all. Huawei also couldn't do justice to the contrast, but it did control the exposure level on the pictures it captured. The Oppo F9 though had a good level of contrast and exposure and yet again it came out on top. Talking about the dynamic range, Vivo outshone its competition as highlight and shadow details were preserved efficiently at the same time. The Oppo F9 was not that far behind but the image from the Nova 3i finished last. Now let's talk about portraits. All these three phones have dual cameras on their back. The Vivo V11 has the highest megapixel count when it comes to depth sensing as it has the 5 megapixel lens on the back. The other two devices have 2 megapixel lens for the same purpose. Now looking at the images, the F9 did overexpose its pictures but it did a good job in the background blur. The 3i is not that far behind here while the Vivo V11 comes out last which came out as a surprise as I had expected its 5 megapixel depth sensor to do well here. So the comparison that I did today was pretty interesting. It's good to see that smartphone brands are working hard to improve the cameras on the major smartphones as well. I had a hard time picking out the winner but with the slightest of the margin the Oppo F9 comes out on top. For normal users though, the difference might not be that noticeable. So there you have it folks, the camera battle of the mid-rangers. If you'd like to see more comparison videos, do subscribe to our channel. Until then, this is Anus signing off. Hello everyone, we are currently giving away the Vivo V11 on our Facebook page. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. So that's been all. Thank you so much for watching and a very happy Dasai.